So if you are thinking to purchase the Godway or Bigod M103 Black Edition, I'm riding right now with it. Is it good? Is it bad? If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of this video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PEVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today I'm riding in one of the worst conditions in the UK because it's been raining, but I've been riding with the M103. What is my thoughts about this one? And I'll let you know in a second. But let's talk about the shape of it and the big benefits that you can take out of this one. First of all is the smallest electric unicycle that you have on the market. So if you want to buy an electric unicycle for your kids or if you don't have a lot of space at your home or if you live on an apartment without an elevator, that makes a lot of sense the M103. Is it the most comfortable wheel in the market? I don't think so. Is it the wheel that I trust the most to go fast? No, it's not. It's a wheel that I'll put in the same category as electric skateboards, if it makes sense. It's very, very zippy. And since you put your first time, your feet on this electric unicycle, it's really, really weird because the wheel, the wheel reacts in a completely different way as what you are expecting with an electric unicycle. The best way that I can describe is, is if you had take out the tire and you had put like a ball between your legs and you are trying to equilibrate yourself, it, if it makes sense. I don't know if you have tried to do that, let me know in the comments below. The sensation that you have with the M103 is that, is like a ball between your legs. Another thing also to point it out is, because it's so small, also it's really short. So I'm used to feel the electric unicycle much more on the top. So when you find a small irregularity on the floor, the wheel try to readjust that. And that is something that I don't like. But for example, we are going uphill now and the wheel just go. The wheel have a lot of power. So if also there is something that you are concerned, you have plenty of power with this wheel. Is it a wheel to go fast? Go 35 kilometers per hour and stuff? I don't think so. Do I think that I can go as fast as with my V8F? No, I don't think so also. I think this wheel is perfect for someone that wants a wheel for your kids. Like I said, you want a spare wheel just to grab someone, just for a, for a walk. You want to have inside your car just to go around the city whatever okay for those kind of situations or you go in a trip but you want to continue to have an electric unicycle with you this is the best companion because you can put inside your backpack when we talk about grip and that is one thing because i said to you guys that i compare this with electric skateboards and i have to say to you guys that how i can say it's not a wheel that i trust in this type of conditions but in the same time i really trust so it's really grippy because the tire is much larger and also that is an advantage so when you are trying to go around and uh, you want to use for example in a warehouse or something the wheel is almost like you can just go super super slow like i'm going right now and the wheel just want to maintain straight because the tire is really large and the wheel is really really small when you start to accelerate and brake it doesn't reduce the velocity it's, it's almost like it wants to pass from going forward to go backwards if it makes sense when we talk about battery you have here 480 watt hour battery so it's not a big battery but but it's a wheel that will allow you to go to point A to point B, like I said, inside the city. The shape of it, the body, the pedals also, by the way, they are quite big. They are really, really flat, but also, like I said, it's not a wheel to go really, really fast. This wheel could take me here, even raining, something that I will never do with electric skateboards. If you don't know why, <laughs> just check the other video that I've done recently reviewing the Onsra. This wheel, for example, on this floor, I'm curious because this floor is one of the worst for skateboards. And it passed without a problem. It's not super comfortable, like I said. It's a very weird uh, sensation that you have with this electric unicycle and now they changed this floor it was rubbish also if you are just learning i think it's a perfect wheel because your feet are really really close to the floor so definitely a good thing with the m103 black edition or even the other one when we talk about the color also i was really disappointed with the the color the previous color it really looked like a toy like this it looks much more premium in my opinion i think the wheel looks much much better like this once again we are going up here and the wheel goes and the wheel goes without a problem and we've done basically seven kilometers at this point but the wheel is so so zippy when you try to just go on top of the wheel because the body is so small also it's not the starting point that is the easiest one because i'm used to feel the weight of it so 
because it's so light is really really weird and that also doesn't help to maintain the wheel balance if it makes sense another thing just to point it out is you don't have a handle so if you want to come off the electric unicycle and you just want to go around the shopping it's not something that you can do at these times of pandemic i will not recommend you to do it but it's not the best wheel for that so for that for example you are much much better with the v8f so now i just felt like a change and i tried to readjust my feet and the wheel was just moving around i think it's a very funny wheel it's not really the wheel for me because you know i like speed i like stability this wheel doesn't really give me that but if you are searching for something that is really nimble that you can play around i think this is a toy that can be practical and take you from point a to point b if you need without basically <laughs> destroying your bank account so if you have any questions leave in the comments below my name is marco this is matt peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one